Let's try to set herself on fire by using the washing dryers. I'm not really sure it's safe to put a washing dryer in their home now. <laughs> and welcome to my channel and today we're gonna be playing discover university with the get to work triplets so if you didn't if you don't know about these three they were um they were a part of the get to work series uh their parents had a set of twins and then they had a set of triplets these are the triplets the triplets are younger um but we're gonna send them off to university because they're both they're all still young adults so first off we have ashton we have Alexis, and then we have Austin. So, I did not realize how much trouble I was causing my, for myself when I decided to name them all A's. But uh, they're all quitting their jobs, they're going to hit the books, and they're going to go and graduate from college. So, I think... Oh, there's the mailbox. Alrighty, so, the reason I chose these guys is because I know they already have... Um, they already have skills built up, they already have experience in life, and... So I decided to create this house, so in case you haven't seen the speed build of it yet. So this is the house I created. I just realized I forgot trash cans. It's either sinks or trash cans. One or the other, sometimes both. <laughs> I always forget them. Uh, so it's two and a half bathrooms and three bedrooms. So there's the kitchen and dining over here. There is a living space here. There's a little office downstairs, which could also be converted into a bedroom if you needed it for that. There's washer and dryer here. And then and this is the half bath right over here. We come upstairs, there's the full another full bath, and then there are three bedrooms. So their bedrooms are identical, they're triplets, I mean, why not? I left a lot of space because I don't know what kind of items they're going to need. Uh, plus, they could need to do presentations. They have computers, so in case they have, um, in case they have, like, term papers and stuff due. So I made sure to get them at least the basic necessities I think that would get them through. This is not a starter home, um, but it is available for download on the gallery in case you're interested. Um, I'm going to add in <laughs> trash cans real quick. Because um, I can't believe I freaking forgot. There's a basic trash can, and then we need an outside trash can too. And then I'm going to move their mailbox over here. Mailbox can go right there. Beautiful. New trash can will go right next to it. Alrighty. So, since all three of them have never been to college or anything, but again, they all have very different skills, so I'm going to have them all get started on scholarships. I'm going to have them apply for jobs. So. Yes, and... Yes. So, they're... They all have different jobs I'm going to be placing them in after college. So Ashton, who is this one? Yeah, Ashton is this one. He's going to become an engineer. Alexis is going to become a lawyer. And Austin is going to become a teacher. And those are the three careers that come with Discover University. So let's have him come up here for university. Let's, um, scholarships. Let's email our former guidance counselor for advice. And we're going to have them all do that and see uh, what kind of scholarships they think they could be able to qualify for. Oh, not view scholarship packet. Talk to former guidance counselor. Alright, so Alexis is already on her way. She's already started off. She is. She's always been the head of the pack. Just tried to set herself on fire by using the wash and dryers. I'm not really sure it's safe to put a wash and dryer in their home now. But she is an adult now. So hopefully... Well, a young adult. So hopefully... They're gonna be okay. So uh, Alexis has three scholarships that they suggest for her. So the athletic scholarships. Please pause. Sims who are skilled in athletics can apply for to this scholarship. Sims must also participate as a soccer team player to keep this scholarship, but it's worth four hundred and fifty dollars. The education for all Sims with really low income household funds will be eligible to apply for this scholarship. I didn't think that was low, five thousand six hundred dollars, but. They think it is. And then the Brightchester resident. Residents of Brightchester may be eligible for this grant, not eligible for adults or elders. All right, what about the other two? So Austin got education for all as well, Brightchester resident, and eSports. The so Sims who are adapted to video gaming may be able to, may be eligible for the scholarship. Sims must also participate as eSports competitor in order to keep this scholarship. 
All right, so they each already have two different scholarships, and Ashton, um, Ashton got the same ones as uh, Austin, it looks like, because he got eSports, Brightchester, and Education for All. We're going to see if we can have these guys apply for some scholarships. So you can either use a computer or you can use the mailbox. If you use the mailbox, you won't be able to check the status of anything. I'm going to go ahead and have them apply for scholarships. I don't know if they can apply for multiple scholarships at once or if they have to apply for each scholarship individually. Um, probably the latter, just because that's how it is in real life. Oh, he's even got four. He's got a fourth one. I didn't even know he had that one. Um, oh, yeah, he has to do one at a time. And apply for scholarships. Oh, she has five. She has food and drink, esports, and athletics. So let's go ahead and have her apply for the athletics one. Oh, it was this guy over here. Oh, no, he's, yeah, he's the one that got the esports. All right, so let's have him apply for food and drink. I'm just gonna have him apply for everything, because that's how the, <laughs> I, I know what, I shouldn't say this, but that's how you really should do it in real life, though. Apply for every scholarship, regardless of whether you think you're gonna get it or not. Because the thing is, if nobody else applies, because just, just be think, just because you think other people apply doesn't mean that they do. So just always keep that in mind. I had that happen to me as um, when I first started going to college. I decided to apply for a scholarship. Nobody else had applied. They awarded it to me. They thought I had the best. They thought my essay was really well written. And then they're like, well, nobody else applied anyway. So I'm just going to try and go down the list. So education for all. And it's Friday, so I might want to see if we can get their applications in right away, because if that's the case, then maybe they can start on Monday, start the new term on Monday. Uh, food and drink. Uh, education for all. I think she has a couple more. He has his last one. Okay, you need... I want you to check to make sure you applied for all the scholarships available. And I'm going to do the same thing for all of them, because honestly, they're all, um, I can't keep track of them all. Oh, scholarship has already been applied to. Oh, cool. Sweet. So he is done. He will be done here in just a second. And she has two more. Oh, no, I guess, I guess he got them all. Um, university, scholarships, and applied for scholarships. Dang it. Stop it. Like, for once, if you click off anywhere else, it closes it. But otherwise, it usually didn't. Alright, so he's good. Alright, so I'm gonna have them all apply to university real quick. Because I want to see if we can get them started on Monday. Um, they're gonna live here in this house, because I am not sure what schools they're gonna be eligible for. So I'd rather have them living off campus in case... Um, in case they all end up getting stuck on different colleges, I don't want to have to go back and forth between households. So we can keep them all in the same household, work on all of their degrees at the same time. Alright, are you guys applying? I mean, I know Austin is, but I don't know... Alexis is... Oh, okay, hers went through first. Alexis's university application is on its way. The university will look over the application and mail the results back sometime in the next few days. Alexis may also check her application status at any time on the computer. And the same thing goes for the other two. Alright, and unfortunately now it's the waiting game. But it looks like we have a welcome wagon. We have some neighbors that have decided to stop by. Why don't we invite the neighbors in? Let's see, we have Lilith Pleasant, Angela Pleasant, Eleanor Elderberry, and Ekram Elderberry. So why don't we go out and invite them all in. Okay, can you guys go outside and invite neighbors in, please? Please? Invite neighbors in. Okay. Looks like we were able to do so, finally. Alright, so you guys can come in here, sit down, talk with your neighbors. Get to know your neighbors, do a funny introduction. Hope you like the fruitcake, it's a family heirloom. 
Y'all are sitting kind of in front of the fruit cake. I'm gonna move it here to the living. I was gonna move it to the living room. Alright, so it's easier to grab a piece. Ashton's talking up Lilith, who I see has some of the new facial piercings. Very nice. She does not look thrilled to be there. She looks very tense. So so. Oh. <laughs> uh, give her a cheerful introduction. Why don't you uh, go ahead and say hello to everyone? Hey, you know her. Introduce yourself to her or him. Um, and introduce yourself to these guys. Thanks for coming. We said hello to everybody as well. No, you still need to introduce yourself to a couple of the neighbors. Oh, apparently we don't get to talk to them. Glad we had a chance to talk. Oh, that's so nice of her. Alright, so who's had a chance? Okay, so Alexis likes fruitcake. She kind of is a fruitcake, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> and then Austin does not like fruitcake. Um, and he find he's finding himself very bored. So why don't you just thank them for coming, though? Like, it was very nice of them to come over and... Uh, why don't you brighten her day? Tell her a funny story and um, joke about old times, even though they just met him five minutes ago. Definitely got a joke about some old times. There. Oh, and Ashton? Ashton does not like the fruitcake. <laughs> Uh, I did get do a brand new cast for them, so they went through all the creative sim items and chose what I thought would be the best outfits for them all. So they all got a makeover from their previous makeover, which was uh, when they moved out of their parents' house. I mean, maybe it'd be very nice if we could invite Troy and Damien over. I mean, I don't—we haven't seen them in forever. The best relationship and a little discipline. And what does this one say? Daddy dears. Okay, so they both do. Do either of them say anything else? Happy childhood, a great relationship, and little discipline. Happy childhood, and you. Aww. They don't, he doesn't have the best relationship with Troy, but, you know. Still had a happy childhood. I see that she's already found the computer. So I figure I'll check on their applications tomorrow. That'll probably be the best way of going about this. Um, so there's organizations here. So there's three organizations per uh, university. Oh, it looks like the Art Society meets on Sunday. The Spirit Corp and the Debate Club meet on Saturday. The Bot Savants meet on Sunday. The Brainiacs meet on Friday, and the Spirit Squad meets on Saturday for Foxberry. So I can't wait to see what kind of scholarships they win. I can't wait to hear what degrees and things that they were... Um, invited into, so I'm looking forward to being able to know all those things. I'm very, very excited. Um, I wish I knew a little bit more about the degrees. Or maybe we could, uh, maybe have one of them do some research. Maybe you could come over here and uh, give University donation for boost chances. Oh my god, no! Uh, research Foxberry and research the University of Brightchester. Okay, they're gonna pop up over here. Oh, no, they don't. Okay. So, Foxbury Institute, consistently rated as a premier university. Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. The university is always looking for students who dare to dream big. So their, art, their regular degrees are art history, communications, culinary, drama, fine art history, language, and literature. Their distinguished degrees are biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and villainy. All right, so what about uh, Brightchester? Okay, so Brightchester, the University of Brightchester holds nearly a millennium of history within its traditional halls of learning. Having taught every student from royal to unknown, the university prides itself in educating both minds and morals, molding students into well-rounded and upstanding sims, ready to enter the world and make a difference. 
So essentially, the degrees just end up being swapped from the previous school. So their regular degrees are biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and villainy. Their distinguished degrees are art history, communications, culinary, drama, fine arts, history, and language and literature. Hooby Ogaru, Zamona's arrow. Yeah. Alright, so I guess I should actually assign them their beds. Oh, did you already know that was gonna Oh that you already know that's gonna be your bed. Assign right side to Alexis. We're gonna have uh, let's see. Austin is gonna be over here, right? Yeah, Austin will be over here. And then this will be to Ashton. Oh, fantastic. Now we have a wonderful relationship with our neighbors. Two of them have already three, and when's the last one gonna leave? I guess he did. I don't know. <laughs> Still have notifications from forever ago with the last save file. Alright, so it looks like they're all gonna go to sleep, except for Ashton. I'm not really quite sure why. Go to sleep, and Alexis, go to sleep. We're gonna have you guys go to sleep till morning, and then we're gonna check on your application statuses. Let's see, and uh, what options are gonna be available here? Um, scholarships. Oh, they can check their scholarship applications too, so maybe we'll have them do that. Um, probably, probably a little later, probably six-ish, maybe seven. I just really gotta pee though first. Oh, same thing for Ashen. She called dibs on the bathroom upstairs, so we'll make him go to the little half bath downstairs. But since he's uh, downstairs, maybe we can have him cook some breakfast. You know what? How about we go this way? Serve breakfast. Let's have uh, pancakes. Pancakes for good luck, you know. <laughs> And of course, she's still eating fruitcake. She loves the fruitcake. Uh, could you please clean up the dish, though? Thank ya. And Austin's still asleep. Austin must, must have been quite tired. But he can go to the bathroom, and then he can come down and grab some pancakes. For the most part, she's pretty good. So I'm gonna actually have her go for a jog. Because she was actually quite athletic. She worked really hard because uh, she had found herself to be unhealthy. So she decided to work really hard and she started exercising all the time. So she's quite an active sim now. And she's very disciplined. Well, let's see. What else? What else can they do? So, and the reason I chose the degree, or the jobs that I did for them is because, let's see, Ashton is a genius, he's a cat lover, and he's a goofball. So I kind of combined the genius and goofball kind of thing to be kind of more of an engineer standpoint. Alexis is materialistic, she's good, and she's active. So I kind of chose the lawyer trait for her because, you know, lawyers generally make a lot of money. Um, they usually want to do good, bring good to the world. Um, so that's why I chose that one for her. And then Austin is a dance machine, a goofball, and he's cheerful. So I chose him to be a teacher because most teachers are cheerful and usually goofballs as well. Usually the best ones are. Because then they can kind of liven up the class. So. Uh, but I think we're going to save the applications until next time. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for this first episode of Discover University. I hope you guys enjoy this series. I hope you guys enjoy this journey with me with the triplets from Get to Work. And I hope we have just a fantastic time watching them go through, maybe be on the struggle bus with Discover, discovering their university. So, um, hope to see you guys next time. I'm gonna wrap it up here. So definitely leave your comments, feedback, and suggestions all down below. Is there anything in university you don't like? Is there anything that you've played just yet that you just don't like? Um, something that kind of irks you. 
Go ahead, leave that down in the comments below, and all my social media is in that description box, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook page. And we're live on Twitch every two, every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And of course, like I said, that link is right down there below. Love it if you can come check us out. Uh, as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This way you can be notified the next time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Thank you.